Well, hello there and welcome to the Web Monkey Show. My name is Alex and we have breaking news. Well, it's not really breaking news. This happened a few days ago, but WooCommerce just launched their own native payment gateway called WooCommerce Payments. Now, the good news here is that you no longer need to have a Stripe account in order to accept payments via credit card on your store. Now, WooCommerce Payments is actually powered by Stripe, by the Stripe engine. And when it comes to the transaction fees, it's exactly the same, which would be, I believe, a 2.9% uh, per sale. So it's right here. It's the pay as you go. It's free to install, by the way. The plugin is free to install. No setup fees, no monthly charges. But then for every transaction, you will get charged 2.9% plus 30 cents per transaction for US issued cards. But then if you're accepting payments from cards issued outside of the US, uh, it's going to be 2.9% then plus 1% for such a uh, transaction. So that's exactly uh, what it is. And it's also $15 fee per dispute, which will be funded if you win the dispute. Now, these charges are exactly the same as Stripe. So you know, it's not like it's more expensive than using Stripe. But like I said, the good news is that you no longer need to have a Stripe account in order to accept payments via credit card. And best of all is that you can view all the transactions, handle all the disputes, the charges, everything on your WordPress backend. You no longer need to go to Stripe in order to do all that stuff. So in my humble opinion, I think this is a game changer and this is a plugin I will be using on my own uh, online stores. Now, when it comes to actually registering to use this plugin, it's free, but it's only for uh, merchants based in the United States. Now, I was kind of curious about this initially because Online stores can be anywhere. They're not physical stores. So what they really mean here is that you do need to have some form of physical presence in the United States. So when you're installing the plugin and you're registering, you'll be asked the usual questions such as, you know, what's your name? Uh, what's your address? But then there's a particular part where you will be asked to provide your social security number. That's, of course, social security number based in the US. Now, I do have one. And as such, I was able to register. So I'm guessing if you don't have a social security number, you will not be able to register to use this plugin. But the good news is eventually, I believe they will make this plugin available to uh, everyone uh, across the world. I, I don't know if they can cover all the countries, but definitely they will, they will be moving outside of the United States uh, pretty soon. So as part of the registration process, you'll be asked to provide a phone number. They will send you a code. You'll provide the code. And then, of course, you'll have to verify your identity. And I was able to use my international passport for the verification process. So it's pretty straightforward, the entire uh, process. It might take you about five to 10 minutes. But eventually, once you've been verified and you go to your back end, you will have to install the Jetpack plugin. Now, I have a love and hate relationship with Jetpack. I think it can be awesome but I also think it can be terrible. So if you already have Jetpack installed and you're using it, good for you. If you don't have Jetpack, what you can do is simply go ahead, install Jetpack, but then go to the settings for Jetpack and simply disable all the functionality. So you generally have six different categories of functionality. So right here, you can see I am on the back end for Jetpack settings. So on the security, you can see right now, everything is pretty much uh, turned off. Uh, same goes with performance as well. Everything is turned off. Uh, same goes with writing as well. Everything is turned off, sharing, discussion, traffic, and so on. So make sure you turn everything off. That way, Jetpack will just be there to support the plugin. Now, when you install the WooCommerce Payments plugin, you will see Payments right here. That is the tab for Payments. You can go over to Settings, first of all. And then in here, you can see right now that my account status is complete. Payments are enabled. Deposits are available daily. But right here, you have the ability to go on a test mode. So please, if you're going to use the plugin, make sure you test it out first. Make sure it's actually working on your site. So you can simply enable the test mode. And then you have different kinds of credit card numbers that you can use just to test to see if uh, the transactions are actually going through. And then, of course, uh, you will see uh, on payments as well, you will see deposits, transactions and disputes. Now, I did go ahead to simulate a uh, test transaction. And if I go to deposits right now, you will see it right there. It is from 
So you can see right now, I got a deposit of $96.79. Um, uh, so this was on May uh, 27th, uh, 2020, which is actually kind of strange considering that today is May 24th. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but it's okay. Uh, I'm gonna click in there just to show you the transaction. And so you can see right here, the amount was for $99.99. The fees I had to pay was uh, $3.20. The customer's name is Jon Snow. Huh. Okay. I'm going to click on the order number right here, for which is 316. And that, this will give us a bit more uh, information. So you can see right here, this was the the order details. This was what uh, Jon Snow bought and so on. So because this was a test payment, I can't really show you how the uh, disputes would be like. But basically... If you have a dispute, you will see it right here on the disputes. You will see the status, the amount, the reason, and all that stuff. And so when you submit the dispute, the people in charge of WooCommerce payments will then uh, respond. And like I said, it's usually $15 per dispute, but then you will be refunded if you win the dispute. So semi deposits, you also have uh, the transactions. And in here, I'm going to show you again. So in here, again, you can see from Jon Snow, I can click on the deposit details. And this will give me more information. Uh, let me click on the customer name, Jon Snow. Okay, this is what I was looking for. So right here, you can see the payment method. You can see the person's address. The CVC check was passed. The street check passed. The zip code check passed as well. Uh, you can just gather more information in here uh, regarding the transaction. So overall, I, I think it's a bit too soon to give like a full judgment and say this is the best uh payment gateway ever no but what i'm seeing so far is very 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 promising and i think this is going to be a fantastic alternative to stripe and what i'm personally going to do is i'm going to wait for a couple of more weeks maybe a month and then if the plugin has no known issues i'm just going to go ahead and simply switch from stripe to uh, woocommerce payments because there is really no point in me having Stripe anymore. If I can handle everything, the disputes, the transactions, handle everything from my back end, and I'm basically paying the same amount in charges that Stripe normally would charge me, it's a no-brainer. You obviously want to go with WooCommerce uh, payments. So that's it for today's uh, video. Just to give you uh, an idea about WooCommerce payments and um, maybe possibly it's a payment, ga payment gateway that you might want to install on your WordPress website uh, pretty soon. So if you have any questions about this, do let me know. If you have any comments, of course, I'd love to hear your comments. Put them in the comment section below. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And stay safe out there. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.